Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a royal decree 40 of 2019 restructuring the Supreme Judiciary Council. The council has been restructured as follows Abdullah bin Hassan Al Bu'inain, President of Cassation Court, Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Judiciary Council, Dr. Ali bin Fadl Al Bu'inain, Attorney General, Judge Abdul Rahman Al Sayyid Muhammad Al Sayyid Ahmed, Puny of the Cassation Court, Judge Masuma Abdul Rasul Isa, Puny of Cassation Court, Adnan Abdullah Al Ghattan, Puny of Cassation Court, Nasser Ahmed Khalaf Al Asfour, Puny of Cassation Court, Judge Sheikh Mohammed bin Ali Al Khalifa, Puny of Cassation Court, Osama Ali Al Aufi, Advocate General, Judge Ali Ahmed Al Kaabi, Secretary General, Judge Mohammed Mirza Mohammed Aman, President of High Civil Court of Appeal, Judge Fatima Faisal Mansour, Puny of Civil High Court, Hamid Habib Ahmed, former Advocate General. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a Royal Decree 49 of 2019 restructuring the Justice Affairs and Islamic Affairs at the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments. The decree stipulated the restructuring of the Justice Affairs and Islamic Affairs under the Minister in charge of First State Cases Agency at the level of Directorate, Second Under Secretary of Justice, Islamic Affairs in charge of Minors Fund and Affairs Directorate, Assistant Under Secretary for Courts and Notarization in charge of Courts Directorate, Implementation Directorate, Notarization Directorate, Assistant Under Secretary for Islamic Affairs, in charge of Religious Affairs Directorate, Holy Quran Affairs Directorate, Third Under Secretary for Planning, Familial Notarization, Alimony, in charge of Planning and Statistics Directorate, Human and Financial Resources Directorate, Informatic Systems Directorate, Judiciary and Legal Studies Institute. Article 2 of Decree 7 of 2003, organizing the Ministry of Islamic Affairs and Decree 34 of 2013, regarding restructuring the Justice Affairs at the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, have been rescinded as well as any provision contradicting this decree. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments has been tasked to implement this decree effective from the date of issuance and to be published in the official Gazette. On the sidelines of its participation in the Ministerial Conference to Advance Religious Freedom held in Washington, D.C., the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and This is Bahrain signed two memoranda of understanding with the International Interfaith Peace Corps, which will serve the common objectives through religious diplomacy and promoting justice and equality. The memoranda was signed by the Board of Trustees, Chairman of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalid. Khalifa Al Khalifa, Betsy Matthewson, and the President of Adams Islamic Center, and the International Interfaith Peace Corps Chairman Imam Muhammad Majid. Sheikh Khalid said that the memoranda comes in line with the principles of the Bahrain Declaration delivered by His Majesty the King, adding that the kingdom throughout its history embraces various religions and cultures. Uh, we are very happy today to sign a memorandum of understanding uh, between us and the Center of uh, uh, King Hamad uh, for coexistence. Uh, this uh, memorandum of understanding meant to lay the foundation for a long relationship between us at the center from the International Interfaith Peace Corps. Uh, we have uh, experience of training imam and religious leader and the issue of coexistence in the United States around the world. We have established a program called My Neighbor Keeper and we have used the declaration, Bahrain Declaration, to train pastors and imam and rabbi on the issue of coexistence. We hoping this relationship will lead to develop more of more programmings and more activities around the declaration and other programs that the center offer. Prince Faisal bin Mohammed bin Lahoum bin Shreem Al Mirri reiterated full allegiance to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa against all conspiracies to destabilize Bahrain. Speaking on behalf of Al Mirri family in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and the Jashim tribes in Najran, he slammed the heinous Qatari attempts to subvert the security, stability, and national unity of the people of Bahrain and the Arabian Gulf nationals. Prince Faisal prays to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King with abundant health 
happiness and long life, reiterating the unwavering allegiance and loyalty to the leadership of His Majesty the King. Prince Faisal backed all measures being taken by Bahrain to protect its security and unity and affirm commitment to national fundamentals and values which are based on allegiance and dedicated work to achieve the progress and prosperity of Bahrain and Arabian Gulf countries. Families of Belgique, Al Awazim, Al Shail, Buratha, Bukamal, Ajlan, Al Wazan, Kashfi, Al Sbai, Sharikh bin Shaif Al Dusri, Hijris, Al Khulaqi, and Jafari endowments condemned Qatar fabricated lies aimed to sow sedition within the United Bahraini people who have reiterated their firm, unflinching loyalty to the kingdom's historic leadership. They strongly denounced Qatar's Al Jazeera Channel attempts to undermine the kingdom's security and stability airing the so-called What is Hidden is More immense program, which was an abject failure after its staff became devoid of any of the ethics and rules of professional media in a bid to mislead the public opinion through such blatant lies and false allegations that have been exposed to the whole world. The families of Al Salti, Al Ali, Al Hassan, Al Gahtani, Al Tamimi, Al Barduli, Bu Dehesh, Hamad Al Maran, Al Muhannadi, Tulfat, Al Manai, Rahimi reiterated loyalty to the royal leadership and standing up against the attempts targeting the homeland security and stability, taking pride in the achievements made under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. They reiterated full allegiance to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. They strongly condemned the lies and fabrications of the Qatar-based Al Jazeera channel that targeted destabilizing the homeland's security and stability, stressing standing by all measures taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain to defend the national unity and social fabric. The families of Al Tamim, Al Ansari, Al Tkhil, Al Hashil, Al Hashimi, Al Khulaifat, Al Iqtami, and Bin Hamid, Al Naham, and the families in Samahij village, as well as the general authority of Husseini processions, reiterated their strong, unwavering allegiance and loyalty to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and vowed to defend our immaculate homeland under the banners and historic leadership of Al Khalifa royal family. The families condemned Qatar's false allegations and lies unfounded upon any truth and aimed to stir strife among the United Bahraini people who have reiterated their strong unflinching loyalty to the kingdom's historic leadership. They strongly denounced the attempts by Qatar's Al Jazeera channel aimed to undermine the kingdom's security and stability, airing the so-called what is hidden is more immense program, which was an abject failure.